This team started out as the Toronto Hockey Club, though they were more commonly called the Blue Shirts or Torontos. They played in the pre-NHL National Hockey Association. In 1914, they were the first team from Toronto to win a Stanley Cup, and they were engraved on the cup as the Torontos. Before the 1915-1916 season, the team was sold to Eddie Livingstone. Livingstone wound up having many run-ins with the other owners, but the constitution of the NHA did not allow for the other owners to get rid of him. So they formed the NHL at the start of the 1917-1918 season, and they moved their teams there. Livingstone was excluded from the newly formed league. The NHL still wanted a Toronto team though. So in the NHL's first season, they formed a temporary team with Livingstone's players, and it was run by the Toronto Arena Company, who were the owners of Arena Gardens, the team's home rink. They became what we now know today as the Toronto Arenas. But during their first season, there was actually no indication that they were ever called the Arenas. The press still called them the Torontos or the Blue Shirts, like they did for the team that was in the NHA, as you can see in these newspaper clippings from a two-game total goals playoff between Toronto and Montreal. And they still wore the same sweaters as the NHA team did, but they had great success that year. After defeating Montreal, they went on to beat the Vancouver Millionaires who were the champions of the Pacific Coast Hockey Association therefore winning what the Leafs consider as their franchise's first Stanley Cup. By the way, it wasn't until 1926 that the Stanley Cup was given out only to NHL teams. After the team's Stanley Cup win, there was a lack of room on the Cup's second ring, and they didn't start adding teams again until 1924. But the missed years weren't added until the cup was remodeled in the 1947-1948 season. So it was 30 years later that the name Toronto Arenas was engraved on the Stanley Cup. Before the start of the 1918-1919 season, the Toronto Arena Company returned the temporary team to the NHL and incorporated a new team called the Toronto Arena Hockey Club. This is a season where it is believed that they started to wear Toronto Arena's uniforms. And the newspapers would start to refer to them as the Toronto Arenas. But they stank that season. They had 5 wins and 13 losses. And attendance was horrible. They folded. The team was sold and started the 1919-1920 season as the Toronto St. Pats. Which they remained until February of 1927 when Conn Smythe bought the team and renamed them the Toronto Maple Leafs. This jersey worn by the Leafs players during the 2022 Heritage Classic against the Buffalo Sabres was sort of controversial. People were wondering why the name Arenas would be in blue on a blue jersey. But to me, the unclear logo kind of represents the unclear history of the Toronto Arena's first season and the Leafs franchise's first Stanley Cup.